Hey, what is going on guys? Expert Fusion here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 5 perks in Zetsubu no Shima in Black Ops 3 Zombies without using any gobble gums whatsoever. So, Black Ops 3 has been kind of selfish and they haven't let us get more than 4 perks unless you use a gobble gum, you know, you can use a quenchable on the house or perkaholic. But Zetsubu no Shima did add a feature in the map where you can actually get a 5th perk for free, uh, not really for free, but you know, without using any gobble gums, I guess you can say. So, the Origins Challenges, you know, the challenge chest is returned, and the top challenge, whatever that top challenge is, every g single game is always going to be the one that will give you a free perk. Now, the challenge can be very different depending on what game you're in, but I'm going to talk about the one that you're going to want the most, and this is to eat a fruit from a plant. So, if you don't know, um, you know, the whole planting system. If you put one type of water each round, so you had to put blue water one round, green water the next round, and then purple water the third round, then the fourth round it will grow into a fruit plant. And this fruit plant, you actually can eat a fruit and it will give you a free random perk out of it. But the only problem is if you have four perks, it won't give you a perk. You'll actually just throw up. It's really weird. Um, but if you have three perks, then you can do it and you will get that fourth perk. Now, if this is one of your challenges for Origins, then boom, you're going to get a free, you're going to get a, uh, the challenge completed. And what the challenge does is it actually gives you the ability to get a free perk slot. It does not give you a free random perk. It gives you a free perk slot, which I actually like better because this gives me the ability to get the perk I want. And the perk I suggest you guys do is Widow's Wine. So, Widow's Wine on this map is only obtainable um, of course, from gobble gums, but it's also obtainable if you don't want to use any gobble gums from the spider. So what you have to do is you have to kill the spider in the boss fight. You know, you have to shoot those webs by you know the little thingies, the cocoon area of the map. You have to shoot it with the KT4, the webs, and then you go in there. You fight the boss. I suggest going in there with an upgraded weapon. I went in there with upgraded haymaker. You kill the spider. You go past the spider, and there is a little room with a puddle of widow's wine. Now. I suggest doing this challenge, getting the, the Origins challenge done, getting the free perk slot, getting four perks So you want to get. I, I suggest the four original perks or maybe um, Quicker Vibe, Jug, Qu Speed Cola, and then I, I, I wanted Stamina Up. Um, and then you can come in here and get Widow's Wine for a fifth perk without using any Gobble Guns. No Unquenchable, no On the House, no Perkaholic, none of that shit. You get five perks without it. Now... Yes, this does. It's not as good as it would have been if they allowed you to get um, more than that. Like most maps allow you to get more than five, even. Um, but at least they done something. At least they did something. Unlike the other maps where you can only get four perks unless you use gobble gums to get more than that. Which, you know, I just I really hate it. They've been doing the go I don't like the gobble gum system. I really really don't like it. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow um, I'm gonna be working the most of the day, so. I'm going to try to bring a video early morning. It's going to be the top 5 things I like about and top 5 things I don't like about Zetsubu no Shima. So it's going to be like, you know, top 5 double type of a video. It's going to be really fun to talk about, you know, the things I like about this map and the things I don't like about this map in like a top 5 type of a list. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it informative and you can uh, try this out yourself and get this challenge done and if you do go down let's say you have quick revive if you do go down that perk slot will remain there so you won't lose it or anything like that so it's all good it's all good man it's all good hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in my next one peace out